After the release of his new series WandaVision, Paul Bettany has slowly become the actor on everyone's lips. But what no one knows about him is the trauma he had to face as a little boy. After a tragic death in the family, the actor isolated himself from his flesh and blood, choosing a life away from the trauma of his religious family. He went from living homeless on the streets of London to landing a role in one of the most iconic film franchises, the Star Wars universe. Still, with all the success he garnered, the actor's lack of a solid upbringing seems to have influenced his own family values. Before we reveal the truth behind the Marvel superhero, make sure you take a few seconds to subscribe to the Rumor Juice channel and click on the notification bell for more videos on your favorite celebrities. Bettany was born into a creative family, with his mother being a drama teacher and his father being a performer. But when he was just 16 years old, Bettany left his family, quit school, and found a new home on the cold and gloomy streets of London. The, the huge benefit has been that people think I'm much cleverer than I am because of my accent. Yeah. I, I, I left school at 16, but everybody thinks that I'm like university educated because of the way I speak. <laughs> but what caused the actor to leave the home he already had for the lonely street life? Bettany lost his younger brother to a tragic freak accident that took a massive toll on the actor. The young boy, who Paul describes as, quote, the person who at the time was the most important person to me, fell off the rooftop of a sports hall at a school. His little brother was only eight when he lost his life, and Bettany was just eight years older than him. The actor had an unbreakable bond with his younger brother, and when death put its strain on him, he was unable to cope. The tragedy had a damaging effect on Bettany's entire family. He was painfully close to his younger brother, and like most older siblings, probably wanted to be there for him through anything and protect him from any harm. The devastation the actor felt drew a knife through his personal relationship with his relatives. That was the end of family life from that point, as often happens in families where there's a death of a child. Life was never the same again. The grieving actor felt alone in the whole world and alienated himself from his friends, as though he was harboring a dark secret about how unbearable life is and that none of them would understand. As a result, he turned to alcohol and substance abuse to try and numb away the pain of loss, but nothing could make it hurt less or take that pain away. This tragedy left a fatal gap in the actor's life that he thought some time alone would fill, leaving home to take up basking on London streets. So you were in dusty subways? I was in tunnels. dusty subways singing. Playing guitar for people. Yeah, that sounds very romantic suddenly. I think that you start healing slowly and very much at a snail's pace, Paul said, recalling his loss. The cuts ran so deep that the actor went through years of therapy to help him heal in a healthier way than he had opted for in his childhood. While Paul was mourning his younger brother's passing, there was something else that didn't make his life any easier. Bettany was also struggling with dyslexia, a learning disorder that would also affect him in his adult life. But while he was still young, the actor would get bullied by other students at school. Imagine losing your brother at the age of 16, struggling with school and having everyone make fun of you over it. You know, there were times when being out of my head was a very good place to be because being in my head was not a, was not a, um, was not a, was not a great place for me. Perhaps all of these trials added up to the boy's decision to drop out of school. However, after two years, the young, soon-to-be star needed to find a different outlet for his troubles, and drama school was just the answer he needed. Bettany enrolled in a drama center in London, and the rest is history. I just think you learn that life is curly, you know, and you don't know quite what's around the corner. Still, as he went on to pursue a career in acting, his condition did not make things easy for him. The actor admitted that it takes him a lot longer to read a script than it would if he didn't have dyslexia. When it's too hard to keep going, he asks the director to tell him how the story ends so that he has a general idea without having to wait for ages to find out. It's safe to say that this actor is unbothered by spoilers. While Paul was following his dreams and taking on less notable movies, there was still a lot more going on in his life. Although his family had mourned his little brother's death, another family member had been dying inside, struggling to live freely. Bettany's father had been in a constant battle with his own sexual identity. After years of marriage, the star's father divorced his mother and finally found freedom in confessing his love for another man. Well, I'm gay, and so is Wally. The couple had lived happily for 20 years before Paul's dad lost what his son considered the love of his life. Although his family was quite relieved when he finally shared the truth of his sexuality with them, the actor says his father still battled with self-acceptance and felt guilty for having had a relationship with a man in the first place. 
The shame he felt for his sexual identity was devastating. He was unable to mourn the person who was the love of his life, the star shared. His dad's shame rose from his Catholic faith. After his partner's death, his battle with sexuality returned. He decided to reject the 20 years of love he had experienced with his partner, dubbing the entire relationship, quote, a big misunderstanding. The terrible thing for my father is that, in the end, he went back in the closet, which was awful to watch, really, Vetney recalls. My father, who's getting to the end of his life, was, um, was uh, very, very scared that he wasn't going to get into heaven as a gay man, where my, in his head my, my, um, my brother was waiting for him. The Marvel star believes that religion played a tremendous role in taking away his father's freedom and silencing the truth he had fought so hard to finally accept. Bettany thought that his dad's decision to deny his sexual identity was out of fear of, quote, getting past Peter through the pearly gates. The actor had to watch his dad live a miserable life of self-loathing till his passing in 2015. When my father died, I was with him, and in his pocket, I found a, 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 a glass vial this big of Andy's ashes. He took his dad's misfortunes as a learning curve that would shape him as a father. Bettany continues to raise his children with the same moral standing he adopted throughout his life, not to be judgmental. The star believes in a life of nothing but honesty, and he drives these values into his kids because he doesn't want them to grow up and suffer in silence the way his dad did. I really want my children, and I want everybody, to just live authentically as the person they are, and however hard that is, it's absolutely better than pretending to be something other than you are. Are you going to be the person you decide to be, or are you going to be the person everyone else tells you are? Because you get to choose. You do. The actor is not only concerned about raising his children well, but he is nothing short of a family man too. He doesn't have a tough time balancing his career and family life. If faced with a decision to choose between the two, acting would come second. Your mother and I... Very proud of you both. The actor took no time to reject the role that was written specifically for him in the iconic film King's Speech which would have been perfect considering he has a real-life royal connection. It turns out that Bettany's late dad was the godfather to the Countess of Wessex, Sophie Helen Rhys-Jones, and his attendance at Sophie's wedding was by no regular invitation but by royal command. However, this family history was not enough to convince the actor to accept the role. He had just finished shooting another film, Priest, and had not seen his family for over four months. Although they had come out to see him while he was filming on set, the actor worried because they had not been apart for more than two weeks. His children usually find it stressful when he is not around, and the idea of turning into an absent father terrifies the actor. He would, instead, turn down the occasional film that does well for an unbreakable bond with his children. I really would regret it in 20 years' time if I was looking at my children, realizing somebody else raised you. I wasn't there. I was paying for somebody to raise you. With the number of religious roles the actor always seems to land, you would think that they would have some influence over his life. You may recognize him as the blasphemous yet heroic angel from Legion, the priest in The Reckoning, or Silas, the assassin monk who gets caught up in a murder mystery in The Da Vinci Code. But playing these roles was just another job for the actor. Although experiencing his father's battle with faith may have impacted Bettany's views on religion, the actor was already a self-proclaimed atheist. My, my, my father, was very, he was a very religious man, and he, he I'm not, but he, he used to say, there but for the grace of God go I when we pass a homeless person. And I love that sentiment. He began to distance himself from the church after his confirmation. The idea of believing in God but being unable to see the higher power is not an easy concept for the actor to wrap his head around. I don't see him, the star said. It's not that I'm closed off to the argument, but I do feel the burden of proof. Interestingly enough, the actor is open to believing and travel to a creation museum in hopes of finding proof that would convince him to convert. Instead, the museum left his questions unanswered. Although the star doesn't believe in a higher power, there must be an explanation behind the miracle-defining moment of his career. Years before he would join the Marvel Universe, the actor had a heated argument with a producer. In the end, the filmmaker told him that his career was over and that he was done in Hollywood. After leaving the office, grieving what he was convinced was the end for him, the actor received a call that would change his life. I stepped out into Hollywood and I sat on the sidewalk with my feet in the gutter and I thought, fuck me, Bettany recalled. 
My phone rang and it was Joss Whedon, and he said, Do you want to play the Vision in the next Avengers movie? Bettany shared. You already know what followed. The actor went on to grace the big screens as the superhero the world has come to love. What surprised you the most about Paul Bettany's life? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching Rumor Juice.